Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial on how to create a before and after picture. Uh, I've seen a lot of people in the community state that they, uh, they, they haven't figured out how to do this yet or for whatever reason um, haven't done it and, and I thought I would make a quick video outlining uh, how easy this really is and uh, using free software to do it. So basically what I did was scour the internet until I found a software program that was free and that made it truly easy to create these before and after photos. What I came across was a program called Photoscape. Uh, Photoscape is an absolutely free program and um, there, it, it actually does tons of things uh, but for this uh, tutorial we're only going to use the uh, a few tools, just a couple of tools that, that make it really easy to do before and after photos. So um, you can obtain Photoscape uh, directly from its web page. There are three mirrors to download from, uh, but Photoscape is available at uh, photoscape.org. And then once there, you choose free download, and you see you've got a couple of mirrors to choose from to download the software. So uh, using photoscape.org, uh, once you open it up, you'll get to this screen, which uh, lists all the tools that are available. Uh, we're going to choose viewer to start with. As you can see, I've got a before and after photo placed in a folder called project. I'm going to start with the before folder, the before photo. Right click, choose editor. Once it opens in the editor, you can see I've got a full photo here. The first thing we need to do is crop the photo to make it, um, to basically get rid of anything that we don't want in our before and after photo. Um, what I've done is, uh, I've chosen to crop my photos using a 3 by 5 aspect ratio. Um, you can do a free photo crop, uh, which is basically where you can crop it using any ratio whatsoever. Personally, I like the uh, 3 by 5 uh, ratio uh, because it's really, really easy uh, to get just the, the stuff that I need in the photo. So I choose that, and all I do is select the area uh, that I want to crop. Um, and I, I basically just get it as close as I possibly can uh, to the subject. In this case, my week three photo, uh, because my before photo was already cropped. So this photo is from week three, um, and these are the set. This is the crop setting that looks pretty good. And to affect the crop, you can either click the crop button there, or hit enter, and the crop will take place. The next step in the process is to resize the image. Uh, the reason I, I do this is to give me, um, uh, to basically my, uh, my images after they're cropped need to be the exact same height so they fit next to each other nicely. And uh, the, um, the size that I've chosen to do that is 1600 pixels tall. This particular image is 2361 pixels tall. So I'm going to have to resize it and there's a button here on the home tools tab to resize and I'll go to the height and I'll change this aspect ratio to 1600 pixels as you can see when I did that the preserve aspect ratio button is checked and it automatically changes the width ratio so the aspect ratio is maintained once the picture has been resized um, I want to apply some image enhancing um, algorithms and you can see there's a couple of uh, options here and I'm going to use the auto level, the auto contrast and the backlight buttons. I like the effects that they apply to the image. Then I'll save the image and when I click save I'll get the option to s adjust the quality so if I want the image to be smaller or larger in size I can change the quality setting here. I'm going to leave it at 95% choose OK. So now I'm finished with the before picture. Next I'll go back to the viewer, I'll choose the after picture, right click and select editor. Again step one is to crop the image. As you can see the last crop setting that I used is remembered so all I have to do is select the image that I, the area of the image that I want to keep 
adjust the crop settings to get them close to matching the other image hit enter return to the home tab select resize change my height setting to 1600 pixels select auto level auto contrast and backlight save save and OK now I'm finished with my after photo the next step is to go to the top of Photoscape and choose the combine tab you'll see on the left I've got in my project folder the before and after pictures I'll drag the before picture in and the after picture in and as you can see it puts them in the order that you drop them first and then second now I'll choose edit and I will go to the object tab and choose the text tool The text tool will open up and as you can see the last thing you typed is in there automatically I'm gonna change this to before and I've also got the option to change the text type, the size, the color and various other aspects of the text. I'll drag that into place on the first picture. At the bottom I have the ability to copy the selected object. So I'll hit the copy button, drag that over to the right hand side, right click, choose properties, and then change this to my after text. I can center that, put it in the correct location, choose save, save as, save the image, give it a new name, save it, and you're done. To view the image, um, to preview it to see what it looks like. I'll return to the viewer and I'm in the project folder but I need to update it by pressing F5 and there is the new image we created week 8 front. I right click and choose full screen and there's our finished image. Press escape to exit full screen and we're done. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope this is helpful to you. And if you need any help or any have any additional questions, please feel free to email me. Thanks, and have a fabulous day.